uh, Z out renders stability to D9 complexes like copper H2 whole 6 2 positive. In this Cu is 2 positive and we know its configuration will be 3D9. So, if it is 3D9 then it is going to undergo Z out, 3D9 is going to undergo Z out. So, first of all we have the unsplit configuration but resistant energy. This will split to give you Eg and T2G and this will further split to give you Z out configuration. Sorry, not this, only 2 here. So, this is dx square minus y square, this is dz square, this is dxy, this is dyz and dzx. Now, how does it provide stability? Let us fill in the electrons. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine, so nine, so Eg is unsymmetrically filled, so high distortion. So let's fill again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. First of all, you have to fill all the electrons in the lower orbitals. That is the dxy, dyz, and dzx. Between the dxy, dyz, and dzx, you cannot pair up the electrons. But also, you cannot move to dz square and dx square, y square if these are not filled completely. Once these are filled completely, then only you can move to dz square dx square minus y square. That is only the electrons which are present in Eg will can go to dx square minus y square and dz square. The electrons which are present originally in T2G cannot go into dz square and dx square minus y square. Now, let us fill your dz square and dx square minus y square. So, in that case this will be 1, 2 and 3. So, you can see relative to the Eg, T2G is the same but relative to the Eg, Two electrons are lowered in energy. Okay, one electron is increased in energy, but two electrons are lowered in energy. So the overall thing is the lowering of energy, which is giving the stability to the complex. So copper is going to be present like this: Cu, H2O, H2O, then OH2, 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 and OH2. So, even though the symmetry is lowered, but this complex is going to be stable because of the lowering in energy, which is provided by a John Teller distortion. But John Teller distortion is not only a good thing, it has some bad aspects too. That is, it gives instability to some complexes also. For example, this complex. Again, in this complex, the copper is present as 3D9 because it is Cu. 2 positive. So, it is present as 3D9. 3D9 means it is going to undergo JTD. And if it is going to undergo JTD, first of all, what it looked like? If there was no JTD, we assume that there is no JTD, then it would have looked like this. It is EN, right? So, it is a bidentate ligand. But because of JTD, the and it is Z out, so the bonds are going to get elongated. And only the tetragonal bonds are going to get elongated. This destroys the stability which is provided by the ring. Rings provide stability to a structure, but this entire thing, the distortion of the bonds, this destroys the stability of the ring and therefore it destroys the stability of the D9 complexes in which there is a ring present. So, John Teller distortion causes stability also, it causes instability also. So, it has dual behavior. So, this was all about your John Teller distortion. Next, we come to crystal field splitting in your square planar complexes. Square planar complexes can be said to be an extreme case of Z out distortion. So, here you can see the Eg and the T2G they are undergoing the normal splitting. Further, what is happening? The dx square y square and the dz square they split, and the dxy dyz dzx they also split. 
Now, next thing what happens is the dx square y square gets higher in energy, whereas the dz square it gets lower in energy than the dxy. The dxy comes higher in energy than the dz square, and at bottom we have dyz and dzx. So, if we compare the energy of the orbitals in your square planar complexes, then the orbit energy of the dx square minus y square is greater than the energy of the dxy, which is greater than the energy of dz square which is greater than the energy of dyz which is equal to the energy of dzx. This is the order of the energy in case of your square planar complexes and square planar complexes are an extreme case of your z out distortion. Mm -hmm.